that should be our desire. Yes, Lord. It's for him to be glorified in our lives. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, we're a, little, a minute early, but let's go forth. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Might be a minute early for us, but it's on time for God. Amen. 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 Holy Ghost is ready to go. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's stand and give God glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell him what he is to you. Tell him what he is to you. Yes, 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 yes. Wow, all I want is you, Father. I want you to be glorified in my life, Father. Because, God, when I bear fruit, you are glorified. And, Father God, we desire to bring glory to you, Father, by us having fruit in our lives, fruit on the tree of our life, Father. Hallelujah. That's what our desire is, Father, for you to be pleased with us, for you to have pleasure in what we are doing in this earth realm, Lord God. We want heaven to smile down upon us, Father. We want you, Father God, to say, yes, that is my beloved son and daughter. In with your posture, Father. We are putting our attitude, our demeanors, our mental capacity, our emotional capacity, our spiritual capacity. We are putting that all in you, Lord God. And we cannot do anything of ourselves, Father. We can do everything only through you, Lord God. Only through you, because you are the one that causes us to live, to move, to even exist in this earth now, Lord God. That's why our primary focus needs to be on you and you alone. Because you alone are able, you alone are worthy. Without you, things are impossible. Father God, with you, things are available to us to accomplish, Father. I need to make only through you, Lord God. Because you are the God that supplies everything that we need according to your riches and your glory. Christ Jesus. Anything of us is insufficient, but everything through you is sufficient because your grace is upon us, Lord God. So we thank you for this grace in this moment to teach in the flow, in the anointing, and to teach in the flow, in the Holy Ghost, the place that he wants us to go today. So Holy Spirit, we surrender to you. This is your class. This is your sanctuary. This is your service. We are just vessels for you to flow through. So flow through me today. Flow through us today that we can hear and understand what the Spirit is going to speak to us today, Father. Hallelujah. We declare that our hearing is not dull. Hallelujah. We are not blind. We are not dumb. We are not deaf. But we have been quickened by your Spirit. That's why we are able to move and walk speed in the instructions that you have given us to do, Father. So we thank you for your glory being revealed in this moment, in this hour. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Come on and bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Y'all not loud enough for me. Heaven is loud. Heaven is loud. Heaven is loud. Ah, 
pray, I pray that you have reactivated the Holy Spirit into your life. Amen? You know, we can do that often. We can do that often. Just because when we got saved and were filled with the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues, that was just not the only moment that we had to accept Him. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. But we can always say, Holy Ghost, activate. Holy Ghost, I need you. Holy Ghost, I'm listening. Amen? But that's what we want to talk about today. How we respond to the Holy Spirit. Huh? Because the Holy Spirit is a gentleman. He will not just push his ways, push his instructions, push his assignment on us. We have to respond to his call. Amen? We have to respond. And if we don't respond, he will not move. Nothing will happen. He will not invade our space. Amen? But what he will do, he will keep knocking on our heart. He will keep knocking. I'm here. I'm here. He will keep knocking. But he will not barge in on your life. Amen? Anybody that barge in your home, what do you want to do? You want to put up a fight. You want to knock them out. And you want to call 911. Amen? Because you are invading my space. You have not gotten permission to come in. You have not been granted access to come into my space.
Because when he gives us instructions, he said, this is the way. Walk he what in it. He's not going to tell you one thing and then go over here and tell you something else. No, no, no. Everything that's crooked, he goes and makes it straight. Because he don't want us to be confused. Because he is not the author of what? Confusion. He's a God of order. He's a strategic God. He's not going to tell us something, give us instructions, and then we just take it for naught. We have to respond and respond correctly. Huh? Respond correctly. I cannot do my own way. Go my own way. Yeah. We've learned all this year what happened to Israel when they did things their own way. Yeah. They were taken up. Yeah. Giants came on their land and just, just took their stuff. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. When they do not obey the commandment. When you don't obey the instructions, your health can be taken away. Yes. Your marriage can be taken away. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. The enemy introduces the divorce court. Because you're not following Holy Ghost instructions of what he told you to do. You're not responding to the instructions that he told you to do concerning those issues yes. Yes. that you are dealing with. Are those issues that you have come to him with? Yes. And then he gives you an instruction and you do just the opposite. And then when you find out that you give your diabetes, now your leg cut off. Huh? You were like, oh, Lord, why? You said you would heal me. Yeah, I did heal you. Huh? I did. Because everything of God is past this. He's already done it. But what did you not do? You did not follow the instructions. Hmm? Neither your high blood pressure, neither your, 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 your heart flesh. If you stop eating ice cream so much, then you won't have heart flesh. If you stop drinking so much tea, so much sweet, your heart flesh is flashes will stop. Right. And then when I begin to do that, my heart flesh will stop. Amen. So people want to blame it on the heart on him now. It's yes. But if you follow the instructions of Holy Ghost, yes. he can override heart flesh. Amen. Huh? But you gotta follow the instructions. Yes. Yes. Nina, you want to lose weight, stay off the sweets. Stay off the sweet. You can't eat cake all the time. Yeah. Huh? Because yeah. if you do, other things are going to come upon you. Yeah. Hmm? That's right. yeah. So when I'm asking him things, he's going to give me the instructions, but it's up to me to respond. Yeah. And if I don't respond, it's not his fault. It's my fault. Yeah. 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 It's my fault. Right. If my health fades and he's giving me instructions, it's my fault. Yeah. Not his. Not here. It's because I did not do the work that I'm supposed to do on this side. Come on. Amen. They're going to prove God a liar. <laughs> they do it. Because he's going to give you an answer to your, your request. Yeah, he said he answered the cries of his children. Hmm? Yes, always answer. But we don't listen. We don't hear or we don't respond. I only hear that because I love my dessert. I love my cake. Yeah. Huh? Huh? And that spirit will be on you so strong, it'll love you to sleep yeah. when he's talking to you on your rope. He will put you to sleep. Mm -hmm. yeah. That dumb and deaf spirit, because it don't want you to hear and receive deliverance, it will love you to sleep when he's on your rope yeah. and in your chair. Every single time. That's why you cannot get breakthrough and deliverance. Yes. Yes. Because you allow yourself to be low of asleep. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about physically. I ain't talking about in the spirit. Right. But what happens in the spirit, we in the natural, happens also in the spirit. What happens in the spirit also happens in the natural. So every time the word is going forth and you be low of asleep. Heaven is sleeping on you and you sleeping on you. You are just in a slumber and your life is being taken away from you. Destruction is upon you because you are not aware. He said, be what? Sober and alert. Watchful, sober and alert. Because you don't know when the enemy is coming. You don't know even when I'm coming, Holy Spirit. I may come this way, but because you're so distracted, you miss my visitation. Amen. Jesus. Starting at, what we say, chapter 3, verses 1. 
the word of the Lord was precious in those days, there was no open vision. And it came to pass at the time when Eli was laid down in his place, and his eyes began to wax dim, and he could not see. And air of the lamp of the Lord went out of the temple of the Lord, where the ark of the, where the ark of God was, and Samuel was laid down to sleep. Oh God. Laid down to sleep. Verse 4. That the Lord called who? Samuel. And he answered, Here I am. Who called Samuel? The Lord. The Lord. And we're understanding in our book, Good Morning Holy Spirit, if you are reading it and getting revelation, the Lord is also who? Um, Holy Spirit. God is also who? Holy Spirit. So Holy Spirit was there from what? Genesis 1 and 1? All the way to Revelation. When we see God, when we see Lord, when we see Jehovah, who will we see? Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit from the very beginning was the one that brings life into us. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit was the one hovering over the earth. When it was created, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit just didn't come when Matthew came and Jesus said, okay, I'm leaving. Actually, I'm leaving, but there's another comforter that's coming to you, the one that, that God promised. He was there in the very beginning. The very beginning. But as we learn in this particular book right here, that the Holy Spirit is the one that's operating in our lives in the earth realm. He's the one we're supposed to respond to. Because Jesus is where? He's gentle. He's a big intercession. God giving a command. Jesus giving instructions and intercession. And Holy Ghost is doing what? Distributing. Playing it out. Holy Spirit is who? The power. It's the power that we need to respond to. If we want to see fruit and manifestation in our life. Change in our life, we got to respond to the power. Because he said, when he comes upon you, you shall receive what? Power. When he comes upon you. And then he's not just a part of us and among us, he's inside of us. Hmm? He's inside of us. So we got to respond to him. Because he's always talking, he's always moving.
careful of how we feel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But um, reading this with you and following along and reading Good Morning Holy Spirit, I was yeah. just wondering, what are some things in our background we learned that we not, that we shouldn't demonize or witchcraft everything? Because like when I was younger, I was always told if you hear something calling you, ignore it. Don't don't answer right. back because it's a spirit call. <laughs> Because I didn't know his voice, but I knew my mom's voice, so I knew somebody else's voice. That's how he was called.
respond and respond correctly Amen. to the voice of the Holy Spirit. Hmm? So we have to respond to the assignment, to the call, to the instruction. We have to respond. Amen? Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Now let's go to Luke 1 and 38. Luke 1 and 38. God was elevating Samuel. You are faithful in serving your natural leader. Now I'm going to elevate you. You're going to begin to hear from me. You begin, begin, begin to serve me. And that's what opens the avenue for the Holy Spirit to begin. We begin to hear him sharply. Amen? Amen. We begin to hear him strategically. Those are the times when we don't have to guess. Who is this talking to me? Is this you, Lord? Or is this the enemy? I've had so much fellowship with him where I know his voice. And a stranger's voice, I don't even consider. I don't even follow. I don't even give that stranger's voice a time. Yes, yes. I don't give him time. Jesus did not give Satan time. Yes. He gave him an answer or a suggestion. And his response was, so it is written, bro. I hear your voice, but I will not follow it. I hear what you're saying, but that's not the voice of God. I hear what you're saying, but that's not the instructions. I hear what you're saying, but that's not what the word says. So to cancel that out, if it's the opposite of the word, uh -huh, uh -huh, it is written. And then when you have such fellowship and commune with the Holy Spirit, the word will immediately come up that contradicts what you just heard. Yes, it will. Uh-huh, I'm not what my word says. Our Holy Ghost will remind you. That's what I told you to do. That's not what I told you to do. Why are you straying to the left or to the right when I have given you a path, a way? I've shown you the way to go. As a matter of fact, it's so awesome that I'm going to reform you and prepare the way for you. All you have to do is walk the way. Walk the instructions. Healing is all that I'm going before you and prepare healing for you. Just walk out the instructions. Walk the way.
to me, so I'm not going to just do what I want to do. I'm not, oh, no, 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 no. Not when we in Christ. Huh? He told Samuel, it's time to put away the childish things. Yes. Time to put away the childish things. Now he told Samuel, uh huh. You serve Eli as a child? Now it's time to put that away. Now it's time to come eat to me. It's time to fellowship with somebody higher. Huh? Amen. Yeah. Amen. It's time to do some grown men and some grown women stuff now. Amen. Follow my voice. Yes. Follow me. Heed to me. Respond to me. That's what he wants for us. Amen? Amen. We are Luke chapter 1. Starting at verse, let's start at verse 26. Let's start at verse 26. Luke chapter 1. We talked about responding. Apostle T and I, we can teach you, we can prophesy to you, we can lay hands on you. We can do all these things to you. And be in the flow of the Holy Ghost. But all that is conditional. It's conditional on you. Doing the work. Doing the assignment. Because I'm not going to lose not one hour of sleep or rest. I'll be this day. If you go out and do something opposite of what the instructions are, and then that thing come upon you. <coughs> and then that's when you want to come up to pray for you and do all this. No. You didn't follow the instructions. There was even points where God told him, come and pray for him tomorrow. I'm done with that. I done tagged with them long enough. I've given them plenty of opportunity. Don't lay another hand. Don't pray another prayer. Because it's going to be up to them according to them. Not me. According to them. Ain't nothing to do with faith. Them. Because they did what they wanted to do. 16. Uh, 26. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God into the city of Galilee. Named Nazareth. To a virgin and spouse to a man whose name was who? Joseph. Of the house of who? David. And the virgin's name was who? Mary. Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hey, Woo, boy, you are highly favored. And the Lord is with you, girl. And blessed are thou among women. I love this particular part. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and cast in her mind. What manner of salutation this may be. Hold on. Something up. Amen. Something is up. Y'all know when somebody come to you and tell you, ooh, you look good there. Ooh, you look good. I mean, you're paying you all kinds of compliments. And in your mind, you're like, what you want? Right. <laughs> That's even with your child. Yeah. 
gonna be eternal, right? Huh? The gift that she got was what good, eternal. Life saving, life giving, delivering, huh? Yes. Huh? And it was able to help everybody in the entire world. So what God is gonna give us, huh? In that time when he comes to us and he sends his angel to us and sit down with us at our bed and in our room, or that visitation, man, don't you know what I'm saying? Because it's gonna be good. Huh? It's gonna be for the nations. It's gonna be for everybody to benefit. What well, apostle teaches us, you bear fruit that does what? Remain. That's how you want to give glory. Mary bear a fruit that what? Remain and it's still remaining. Yeah, it's still remaining to this day. It's still operating in this day. It's still healing and delivering and setting free to this very day. And that's what he wants us to have. That people just come and pick from our tree of life anytime they get ready. They're going to get whatever they need. Yes. And I got to respond Amen. to the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen? You know, I'm reminded of times when I was going through with my husband, Lord, dear God. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. But there were times my mental was chaotic. But the Holy but I knew Holy Spirit's voice. And when he would give me instructions of things to do or not to do or to stop doing, mm -hmm. I had to trust them enough yeah. to follow his instructions, no matter what was going on around me. Mm -hmm. I had to stand still mm -hmm. and trust his salvation, Amen. trust his way, his delivering power, his peace. I had to rest in his salvation, his wholeness. I had to rest into that day that I'm going to get what I'm, and what I'm petitioning him for. Well, I had to do some things in the meantime. Hmm? Had to do some things in the meantime. He was in time when he was in the belly of the well for the 11 days. You know, oh, I knew. When I prayed that last prayer, I was like, you know what? I don't know this. You know You deal with bang, that very day. Within that very hour. Okay? And stayed there for 11 days. But guess what? What's it that don't get him out? Because I could easily get him out. That's my husband. Come on. Right, right. Yeah. Come on. I don't want him in jail. Come right, on. Right, right. That's going to be shame and embarrassing to the church we were pastoring. Come on. I mean, going to get him out. So the members will not know that in the morning that their pastor is locked up. Right. <laughs> uh, he's in jail this very hour. That's why I'm preaching to you this Sunday. He was fighting that day. I mean, I was a big demon upon him. 
I mean, that's a big spear. Oh, one. Because the, the instruction was, I just need to go break and, 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 and smoke again. Way back in the 90s. On the day of deliverance, when you cried out, and I delivered you from cocaine, I gave you instruction. God's not going to change his instructions. Because you decide to do, go your own way. You think you got it. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And he went right back to that instruction. I told you, if you don't drink and you don't smoke, you don't have to worry about these particular issues anymore. So when we let that spirit come in on us again, and he don't know seven more. So you think you had a fight before, you got a bigger fight this time. So he had a fight to get that movie on his back. But I had to stay in a position I had to respond to the Holy Ghost. Uh-uh. Don't you miss a day at work? Don't you do this? Don't you pay near another bill? Don't you do, don't you do, and I had to trust him. And not one day we had lights out, not one day we was out without food, not one day. Because I had to do it in the strength of who? Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Yeah. Because I received what? When the Holy Spirit comes upon me? Power to sustain the testing. The temptation, the trial, the tribulation, the struggle. I receive power when I do it his way. Power to endure hardness as what? A good soldier. I'm a good soldier doing this right here during this time. Yeah, it's hard. But I'm going to endure it because I'm a good soldier. Because I'm following the instructions of Holy Spirit upon my life. I told you, I took his clothes, boxed them up, was going to sit him straight to his mama after he got out. Holy Spirit told me all along, don't take your ring off and don't take your clothes off the hanger. But guess what I did? I took the ring off and I took the clothes off the hanger, boxed them up, ready to go the day that he got out of jail. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit said, now, nah, he ain't going nowhere. He's right here with you. And you put the clothes back on the rack. He told me I'd do all that in the first place. So I had to humble myself down and respond to the Holy Spirit and take all of those. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to do it nicely, too. I couldn't just <laughs> color code it, the shoes lined up. Yeah. Yeah. But if I did not respond to those instructions, we would not be in this place today. So responding, you may have to suffer some. Yeah. Huh? That's right. Yeah. But it's possible. Yes, it is. Yes. It's possible. Yes. When we follow the Holy Spirit's plan. Yes. All right, let's go. It says, so it troubled her. And it said, man, don't fear. Don't fear. Just chill out. But you have found favor with the Lord. Favor got you. Grace is here. Favor is here. Strength is here. Everything is here. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest, and the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David, and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be? Be seen that I know not was different from Zacharias' uh, response. And she was having a dialogue right here. Because you see, she was having a fellowship with the Holy Spirit. She allowed him to talk and give her instruction. So she had a legitimate um, thing here. I'm a, I'm a virgin. Nobody never touched me. That was never heard of. That, that, that's something supernatural. That's something that's impossible. Hold on, how can that be? Because the natural, you got to have a man and a woman to come together. That has never happened. Hmm? See, Zechariah's uh, 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 promise, it has happened many times before. It happened to Sarah and Abraham. It's happened to many barren women in the Bible. And for him to jump up and say, how the word is supposed to be. And you're the priest of the house. You know my word. And you gonna ask me how it's supposed to be? <laughs> Shut up! Until the baby gets here. Ain't no way you my priest in my word, worshiping me. You serve in the priest's house. You don't even go home for your watch. Jesus. That was because it was his season to serve in the church. And you gonna ask me a dumb question like that when I've done this particular miracle so many times before? All you gotta do is say, yes, Lord. Let's go. You 
A baby out from a virgin? I'm never the devil. So she's see how legitimate to have from to ask him that question. Amen. Amen. And 30, 35. And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon you, and the power of the highest shall overshadow you. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. That thing that you are carrying, that thing that God has put in you, that, that, that instruction that God has given you, that assignment, it's a what? Holy thing. Oh, it's a holy thing. Come on. It's a holy thing. Yes. Yeah, it's a holy thing. Yes. Huh? And then it's been given to you from the Most High. The Holy Ghost, the all powerful. Oh, heaven is in, in, in agreement with you doing this thing, with you having this breakthrough. Uh, everything is in agreement. I just need you to be in agreement. Amen. And behold, your, even your cousin Elizabeth, she also conceived this son in her old age. And this is the sixth month with her, who was, who was called what? Amen. Baron. For with God, nothing be impossible. Amen. Then what was Mary's response? And Mary said, Behold, thy handmaid of the Lord, I'm your child, I'm your daughter. Amen. I'm your servant, I'm your friend. Amen. Yeah, that's who I am to you. I'm your handmaid. Yeah. Be it unto me. According to thy word. Amen. And the angel left. See how important it is you respond correctly? Amen. You agree with Holy Spirit? Amen. You agree with what he's telling you? Nothing can move in your life until you respond to Holy Spirit. Amen. I got to respond. Nothing is activated. Yeah. It's just sitting there. The word is there. The instructions are there. But I got to activate. Amen. Yeah. And how do I do that? By moving in it, walking in it, confessing it. Because even confessing alone is not going to do it by itself. Mm -hmm. I got these instructions follow even confession. Instructions alone, but instructions come after prayer. Instructions come after fasting. That's right. Instructions come after the word. Because when the Holy Ghost involved, there's always going to be instructions. That's right. Something is going to follow. Amen. Fruit is going to follow. Yeah. Manifestation is going to follow. Mm -hmm. Breakthrough, deliverance is going to follow. Healing is going to follow. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Marriage is going to be healed, going to follow. Yeah. Finances will 